So on now with a very strange t trailer that came out. <laughs> um, Sean's not with us today, but Sean said he wants to see this movie, ironically. And I, I think that's kind of the only way you are going to watch it. I watched the trailer and... Yeah. <laughs> you know, the thing that got me was is just previous about a week or so ago, I watched Drive again um, with uh, Ryan Gosling in, and sort of what a cool actor he is. I mean, the guy is good looking, he's cool, he's awesome, and then watching him in this, he's just kind of, huh, hmm, <laughs> you know, it's really bizarre. Well, I guess all the diverse Kens are better than the straight white Ken, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm reading into it. That's possible. But it's like, I didn't need to see them going on for 20 minutes about a beach off. I'm going to beach you off. Yeah. Beach off. Yeah. I, I was like, oh, is is that the humor? But I, was, I, I, I put it in the comments. I was like, this made my soul bleed. I, I just don't understand what I'm looking at here. It, it, uh, I want to watch it out of morbid fascination of just what possessed somebody to sort of... I, I, I can't imagine Ryan Gosling's manager on the phone to him saying, OK, I got a script here. Uh, you're going to like this. Um, how can I describe it? Uh, you know, just sort of... And then Ryan Gosling sort of going, yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, we'll do that. It's just, it's bizarre. I guess I, I give it credit. It didn't give away enough in the trailer. I have no idea yeah, what the no, hell is going true. on here. Uh, hey, you guys in the comments, uh, did you watch the Barbie trailer? I mean, what do you... I, I, I honestly don't know what to make out of this thing. I don't know what I'm looking at. It's it's clearly not aimed at me, and I can accept that. <laughs> but I don't well, the, know... The thing is... What, is I, was gonna, I, I don't want to take I was my daughter. Say, I don't think, yeah, I was going to say, the, the weird thing is, I don't think they're going to want to take to see people's daughters but i think grown men are going to want to take to their daughters to see it so they just don't look weird if they're sat there by themselves <laughs> you know so yeah oh you can did, did yeah, you see the meme the yeah did you uh, see the meme where it shows like who it's aimed at shows little girls playing with dog with their and who's actually yeah. shows a creepy guy to move there going uh, and it goes and it shows sean <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> but I, I, it's i'm just i was just i'm like why if you watch that trailer and you see them going on for 20 minutes about beaching each other off which is clear what the joke is but then you you know it's like i'm not gonna take my daughter down. i don't want to explain that joke <laughs> yeah that's right why were you giggling daddy oh, uh, um because oh. <laughs> then you can't I mean, say anything good about it because then she'll just go and use the expression you know and, and thinking it's completely harmless my favourite one wonder, of that is I, I remember somebody. I was going to say I remember a kid telling his dad that S and M, um, I think it's it meant something like sandwiches and mash or something or other, um, <laughs> and so of course he invited his friends over, sort of saying, "Hey, Bill and Joan, do you want to come over for some S and M?" Yeah, <laughs> that's the problem. You so, lie about it, and then it, it gets you. It gets uh, you. <laughs> I, I yeah, I, I'm looking at it like. Like I said, I know it's not aimed for me, but when you see jokes like that, then you, it's it's like Velma. It's like, who is this aimed for exactly? <laughs> and I, I, as kind of a side note, I mean, I'm looking at how well Mario is doing. Um, now, hmm. I don't... Everything I'm hearing is that this is a kid's movie. If you're going into it like a big nostalgia thing because you played Super Mario Brothers on the NES back in 1986 or whatever, you're not... This is not for you. This is for kids who have been playing it for the last 10 years or so and how Mario has grown and expanded and all that. And then it's very, very wholesome, nice kids movie. And then... I'm gonna, the real, go, on. go ahead. You no, I was just going to say, I have, I've read some people that have gone to see it and they did say it's kind of fun of member berries in a good way. The, you know, it it stuff does that have they get. some, sure. Yeah. But the overall... Like the adults will get the member berries, but the kids will just love what they're seeing. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, yeah. there's nothing. Uh, there's no, there's no beach off jokes. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. And then I guess Nintendo came in during the they they were Universal was going to do it as it was the Princess Peach show and Mario was a big loser who had to be taught everything. 
and that they said, no, you're not going to do that. Mario, this is Super Mario Brothers, not Super Princess Peach. And you are going to do it correctly and yeah. and force them to redo this thing. And apparently the response, well, it's it's interesting because the response has been, oh, uh, the, the all the critics hate it and all the people love it. And it's going to make $300, $400 million worldwide. It's going to make $150, $175 million domestic. It's already made back its budget because I think the budget was $100 million. Now, you can double that for marketing maybe. But... Even at two hundred million, if it's already made three hundred ninety-five million in its first freaking weekend, happy days. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And if it's an anti, the, the Midnight's Edge guy said there was only one woke moment in it, and it was that Princess Peach could get through the training thing immediately, and Mario had a real tough time. And that was it. And he says that's not good because it just teaches boys that they can't do anything, and women can always do things better. And that teaches girls to have really unrealistic expectations. And next thing you know, you see, you see one of those YouTube videos where the girl is coming up on a guy, gives him a sock, and the dude just lays her out. <laughs> and she's like looking around, going, "What the hell just happened? <laughs> I think I need an ambulance." Uh, yeah, I mean that's 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 a bad message because real life has a problem with that um yeah you're, you're, yeah, you're just yeah. setting yourself up for bad bad moments but the rest of the movie isn't like that the rest of the movie is they the the way they strive is great it's for the kids it's a kids movie but it's it's nice to be able to take your kids to it what i took away from that is like you know how many times have i said what do our kids have that like when we grew up we could name 15 properties that we loved or movies yeah. that we loved, that we still love today. And it's like, you look at the sludge that comes out in the last 10 years, like, what do the kids have in the last 10 years? It sounds like this Mario Brothers is something that they're going to have, and that's great. I'm, I'm, I'm happy yeah. that that's the way. Barbie? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for watching this excerpt from Outpost Frequencies. Tune in live every Sunday at noon Central Time or 6 o'clock UK Time. And also, remember to come to lastmovieoutpost.com for all your latest in movie news, streaming news, and everything cool about film. We are the cool news now. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next stream.